Well, it looks like we finally know what happened to Titan. Influencer shocks with bizarre theory that the Titan sub passengers are still alive. Quote, a mermaid took them to another world. Why didn't I think of this? It seems so, so very realistic, but that's just some TikTok cringe here uh, to kick off this video. We've got other stuff going around just quickly. So this is the stepson to the one of the billionaires that died on Titan. This is the really weird situation with the kid who like took a photo at Blink 182 and posted about it the same day that you know his stepfather goes missing. He comes out and and goes on Twitter now and he's posting like DMs from Blink 182 praying for you and your family. Thank you. I will be at the show tonight. Just a weird situation there. Uh, but he is the stepson to a billionaire, so, so I'm sure he is inheriting a lot of money. The other kind of big revelation that came out, Titan Sub only reached Titanic depth on 13 of 90 dives according to a waiver. Now, the shocking thing to me about this, number one, I mean, that's a hit rate of 14%. So if you're going in this thing, they're saying there's a success rate of going down to the Titanic, 14%. That's very low, obviously. I didn't think it'd be that low. I thought it was more 50-50. But the fact that Titan had 90 total attempts to go down to the Titanic, that was the really shocking thing to me that came out. Titan failed a test dive in 2021. Other trips were scrapped in the three years prior to it. So yes, they originally wanted to go down earlier, but because there were so many issues with the hull, they had to completely redesign it, and that's why trips, well trips, they were trying to start them in 2020 after redesigning the hull, but the pandemic pushed it to 2021, and they went down and did trips in 2021, 2022, and then had the implosion in 2023. OceanGate stated that it had completed more than 14 expeditions and 200 dives in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Gulf of Mexico using two submersibles. Sometimes the dives would get disrupted by the weather and the waves and chop. Other times they would simply just get lost. And then you've got this old video shows Titan subs spinning out of control on mission. If you want to look up this video, not that it, it's not a nothing burger, but because it's filmed inside of Submersible, it doesn't seem that dramatic. I don't know. If the sub wasn't safe, how was it able to take tourists on expeditions? Well, actually, they did change the design of Titan to make it quote unquote more safe. But I think by them stating in the waiver that it is an experimental submersible, that's how they were able to get around it through the waiver and through people signing things. I'm sure that's going to be completely changed. They're probably just going to completely, depending on what the investigation finds, because we don't know 100%, but if they do find the carbon fiber hull as the guilty party for causing this whole thing, they're probably just going to completely ban those. The other thing that's important to remember, this is such a small, minute percent in terms of submersibles that are actually even able to reach that low. So even if you put in really restrictive laws, the only reason you're going down to the Titanic is it's not like you're just getting a bunch of random people that go down to the Titanic two and a half miles below the surface. Very few submersibles can even go there. So let's say they make the laws more strict and I'm sure they will. It, you know, it, it, it's not going to have this crazy effect on anything. I don't really think they're going to be diving down to the Titanic until at least probably 2025 or 2026 because of this horror ordeal. There was really not a lot of activity when it came to dives down to the Titanic between 2010 and 2020. There would be years where there were just zero dives anyways down to the ship. Uh, so either way, we, we did get that one dive earlier this year on the anniversary of the Titanic sinking where they took the 3D imagery uh, that I believe that happened earlier this year and that was kind of like a big video I saw on YouTube why was so much money and effort thrown into the search if the US had already known it imploded uh, I, I think they are trying to keep their technology a secret you know based on 
them being able to hear the implosion happen, and, and they likely knew it on Sunday night. We're not going to get into all the different theories, but there certainly are some different things that could be at play, and hopefully an investigation happens. My prediction on this entire thing with the U.S. Navy knowing it imploded and not telling the general public or not letting people know, my estimation is they're just going to give a non-answer and say we're not giving away any military technology that might aid other countries. We don't want them to know we have it. Uh, that's just extreme plausible deniability. I mean, what can we really do about that without having some type of whistleblower to fully investigate that situation? There's nothing that we can do. We just have to take their word for, oh, they have this technology. They don't want to give it away. So they're going to have the whole search. They're not going to tell anyone about the implosion noise that they heard. And I read something, I talked about it in the last video, to where they're saying, oh yeah, we're never going to release the implosion noise that we heard when it comes to Titan imploding. So that's the latest on that. And then I did find Ocean Gate's, uh, you know, little YouTube channel. And one of the easiest ways to tell uh, the like to dislike ratio is if you look at the number of likes and then you look at the comments. If there are a similar amount of comments or more comments to likes, uh, the video is probably very unpopular. So this was the latest video they uploaded, 251 likes, 690 comments. This was the most viewed video they have, almost 200,000 views, 90 likes on 200K views, and they had to disable the comments. So that is just remarkable. They got under 100 likes on a video that has 194K views. Personally, I think it's ridiculous that they removed the like to dislike ratio. At least they should put the percentage in there. Like, oh, it's got a like rate of 95%, but that's another story for another day. Also, just looking through some of the ridiculous TikTok videos on this, I really do think when it comes to disasters, TikTok is going to be the new thing where everything you see on there is just fake. It's just random people. Look at this. Footage from the submarine before the silence. And then you can see in all caps, footage from the lost submarine before the radio silence. They're trying to say and pass this video off like they got this footage right before the implosion. Come on, folks. 72,000 likes on that. And then here they are trying to pass off, you know, this boot as somehow being related to the Titan. And you can see the submarine has been found. All five passengers on board are dead. This is crazy. That is more fake stuff. And then they've got audio footage, people inside the submarine 228k likes, completely fake. People in the comments, you can hear the pain in his voice. Is this real? Uh, no, it's not real. It's completely faked. It sounds like their bones crushing from pressure. You can hear the metal slowly crumbling and the man slowly crushed with his... I mean, folks, come on. And then this is probably the best one. Let's see what this says. People are dinging fact the Titanic was raised. So I'm going to explain the entire truth. Oh my goodness. In the 1950s, the Canadian Navy decided to go out and find the Titanic. The wreck was found in 1956. Wow, I didn't know that. That's, I thought it was 85. I was lied to. Unlike what many people claim ship didn't split in half at all. Wow, so it didn't split. It was docked into Halifax. Where are the photos This is that? also where the Ocean Gate in Sydney comes into play. All right, let's the see. The people on board were intentionally killed in an implosion to try and wow. scare people away from actually going down there. Crazy. And seeing that the wreck was to Venther at all. So there it is. We've we've. It looks like TikTok has cracked the code. There was a, it was done on purpose. The guys, the Titanic was raised in 1956. It's in one. It's in one piece. Yeah, we don't have any video of it or photos of it. It doesn't matter, guys. It was raised in 1956. All the missions, all the searches, you know, the ship in half, it doesn't matter. Uh, so there it is. It's just all this stuff on TikTok is just so ridiculous. But I would say the biggest thing, uh, they only reached Titanic depth on 13 of 90 dives. So listen, if you went on this thing... You're looking at a hit rate of about 10 to, you know, maybe 14%. It's probably not going to happen due to one thing or another. It really does seem low budget. I mean, you're a professional 
tourist company that takes people on, well, I guess they're not professionals, but, you know, 14% hit rate, that seems a little crazy to me. Uh, Why would someone invest time and money into that when there's a very little chance you're actually going to see the Titanic anyways? And also, how do they fit nine dives into a two or a three-year window Uh, That's another thing that's very strange. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that is always in the description.